Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. My Addy Machines counter stopped working. Uh, you know what? I relied on it and I continued. It. <laughs> the last time I looked, I was doing a tutorial actually. And uh, I said uh, it's 156 rows and I keep on cranking. I'm almost end of the cake and I'm thinking that can't be and I'm looking it's still 156 <laughs> and I notice that you know when you turn your Addy knitting machine my Addy is right there oh it's right there sitting there it's so annoying every time I come to the black uh, needle right it goes click it gives you that strong click sound and I'm not hearing that anymore. Well, that's a good thing because it was so annoying every time I come to that. That Well, that was the counter, right? So I, it, it broke, but it's knitting. It's knitting. It's knitting fantastic. I'm happy, but my counter is not working. So I don't know what I'm going to do. If you guys know what to do, if this happened to you, please, I would love to hear from you. Should I buy a count, uh, counting? I don't know. I really don't know. So what I did is I ended up finishing the Caron Cloud Cake. It was one ball that I bought. It was on clearance. <clears throat> and I'm measuring it. And I'm saying, saying, oh my God, this is too long. I can't make this one scarf. This is going to go to the homeless. <laughs> So I thought to myself, oh, if I even if I when I divide this by two, it's four feet. So it's about it was about eight feet. It's pretty long. So what I did is I came to the middle and I put my knitting needle. So what I'm going to do is I need to cut it somehow. I need to divide this to two. So I went around. I do have a tutorial. I made it eight years ago. I looked at the video. So eight years ago, but mine was to lengthen. Uh, lengthen a card again but i i checked I, there's no addy uh you know dividing into two pieces so i said let me work on this and share it with you guys what i'm going through it was uh i was so disappointed like you know i paid 389 dollars for that machine and i love my centro i only paid like i don't know 49 for it 50 something canadian dollars so that Addy, I'm sorry, but it's a piece of, you know, da, 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 da. The counter, like I bought it. It's not even a year old. I bought it and I haven't cranked it for months because my, I have problem with my wrists. Can't turn the thing handle. Thank God I didn't turn it. If I bought it a drill, then it would have broke. The Addy machine would have broke. So what I did is when I came to the half, let's c come back to here. I'm so disappointed with the Addy. I hope you guys don't have a broken machine. Like mine is broken. So I don't know how long this is going to last. At least it's doing the knitting. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I need to figure out what to do. So I thought to myself, let me use that tutorial that I made eight years ago. And uh, so... But that was to lengthen. But this one, I need to divide this to two. So I thought this would be the best way to do it, I guess. Uh, I, did, I didn't check any other tutorials. So I'm going to come. So I'm going to leave one knit. So I did go on each V's. So I'm going to skip one. This is the where I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'm going to go on one top. Actually, let's do two just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to pick these V's. Here, can you see these? Though? These are the V's. These are the knit stitches. So I'm going to come to the other side. And I'm going to go all the way around. Pick one at a time. And I am going to do the kitchener stitch. But I'll use a crochet. Well, I'm not going to do the kitchener. I'll just do the way that we close up but I will show you uh, I did a tutorial on how to pick it up if you forgot to uh, cast down with the waist yarn so I will use these crochet this knitting needles uh, 
They're circular knitting needles that uh, you can use. There we go. So I did half. I'm going to turn this. And then continue picking. So there's two V's between. And I'm just going to cut the one on the bottom. And this way I will have two scarves because it's too long. I looked at it. I... Yeah, it's very long. Yeah. And I'm thinking I was disappointed of the yarn because I thought I could make two scarves. But my counter stopped working. So I, until, uh, you know, when I finish the ball and I'm looking at the scarf, it's too long. Just like this. time of the year everyone's making gifts oop did I go one row just looking I think I went one row down did I well and then you need to you need some sort of help yeah I think I went one row did I oh no I didn't Okay, so let's pull this. We don't want to lose the, where's the other end of this one? Here it is. Okay, pull these so we won't lose, lose those stitches. So just uh, grab a tapestry needle and uh, a scissor. So we need to cut. So I'm just going to. Pull from here, so one one row up. Cut that, and then just just be. Don't pull it at once. We don't want to, you know. Just follow like this. Oh, it went up. Just one at a time. Don't rush. Just like this. See? Yeah, I didn't see any tutorials. I I, I typed in. Separate scarf. So I don't even know what to write down on my uh, title here. I can write down. Uh, what should I write down? <laughs> I'm thinking. Well, I need to write down something on my title, right? So uh, uh, maybe scarf surgery. <laughs> Uh, well, we are doing a surgery, aren't we? <laughs> it's funny. So this is how you do it. See, this is the easiest way. And I'm doing it with you. See, there's knit, knit. See, you can see the stitches. Oops. Yeah, so we're not losing anything. Just like this. And I will continue to pull it all the way around. Just gentle, because I don't want to lose any stitches. Well, I don't, I won't. I have my knitting needles. It's uh, secured, but just to be on the safe side, just to be gentle. The yarn is really soft. It's perfect for uh, scarves, hats, and yeah, you can make with one cake, eight ninety nine. I paid. You can make two scarves.
Okay, let me just finish this and I will come back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you where I am. I'm almost at the end. And uh, yeah, this is extra work, I would say. And I am, I will continue. Okay, so I'm at the last one. And uh, automatically it's separated. I think I forgot I missed a couple of stitches. I'm sure it's fixable. Okay, I'm just this last one. Okay, so sep I have separated. Okay, one here and one here. Okay, let me just put that. So, just looking if I missed any. Missed any stitches? No. Okay, so this is... Here it is. So this is... This is the yarn right here. Okay, this is the... So we're going to divide this to two, but I need to fix these. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I divided it to two. So my add is a 46, so 23 here, 23 here. Okay, so here's another way. You can pick up the stitches from your Addy knitting machine when you're going to bind off with a knitting needle like this. So you don't have to use waste yarn. Because <laughs> that's another hassle, right? To remove that waste yarn. Okay, so. Oops. 20, oh, now what did I do? I have to recount this. I don't know what happened here. So you need to have equal stitches. 23 here and 23 here. And here is my uh, end, so uh, I need to use this end to chain and then finish the work. Okay, so I'm moving like this, and you need a crochet hook. Okay, this is the easiest way I figured. So I'll just pick this huge one. I don't know why that is huge for some reason. The yarn is uh, very soft, and this is all we're going to do. So pick one from there and one from there. And then this is all we're doing. We're binding off. Just like this. One from there, one from there. So I hope this tutorial is helpful because I couldn't see anything. And I just used my own uh, tutorial that I did eight years ago. So... Uh, that's uh, helpful. That's the reason how I started my YouTube channel. So I can post videos and I can refer it back to me. Because I work on so many different projects. I forget. I take notes. And those notes I forget where I put them. And that's another thing. So sometimes YouTube channels... I think it's a brilliant idea. That's how I started mine. Oops. Here we go. Pick one from the left. Just like this. Then you just continue. Let me continue doing this or else it will take forever and I don't want to hold you. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm almost done. And, and I'm at the last. See, this is what we need, the last end. And you just pull this and I usually chain two or three. Secure it. I put it on my tapestry needle. I'm not going to cut this yarn. I'll just pull it inside. 
just like this for installation purposes. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> It's handmade again. Nothing's perfect, right? So uh, it does give you these shapes, but that's okay. It uh, did the job. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull it all the way to the end. So I'm just going to cut this. And ta-da! I have two scarves. So I'm a little bit disappointed because of my... Uh, Addy counter being breaking down. This was the other end. I did the tutorial yesterday last night And so I hope you like this tutorial and uh, I have two scarves This is the second one that I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna do the repeat the same thing over and I have two scarves for the homeless and Here's another one. I finished last night Yeah This is from Michael's yarn their, uh, their brand name and this one turned out perfect as well and see well this yarn with this yarn because this is Caron cloud it gives you that look and this gives you this professional look just love it love it love it yeah I just wanted to share this tutorial on how to separate to make two scarves divided into two to make two scarves and I hope you liked this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time I post a new video you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch yeah definitely don't miss that out because you never know what will happen and uh, there's always something to learn. Like I am 54 and I always learn something new. It's unbelievable, but it's true. Yeah, so uh, this is how I save my stitches. And uh, you guys take care and I'll see you on my next uh, tutorial. Happy knitting. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.